This is the show all about you and your space, your home and surroundings. This is Designing Spaces. What do you really know about car care? Designing Spaces believes a little knowledge can go a long way toward having an efficiently running vehicle that's safe for the family. We visited with a leading expert. Meet Sarah. She's a busy mom who lives by her car. Picking kids up and dropping kids off. Uh, and I have my own business, which takes me all over town. My transportation makes my world go round. I mean, my car is indispensable for a lot of things that I do pretty much every day. I know that it's important to keep my car in good shape, but honestly, I just like a better idea of what exactly they do when I take my car in. Sarah is smart to recognize the importance of taking care of her car. To show Sarah what goes into good automotive maintenance, Designing Spaces steered her towards a local Meineke Car Care Center. We were excited to be a part of Designing Spaces and meeting Sarah. We know that car care can be intimidating. At Meineke, we believe that education and knowledge is the most important thing we can do to help take the mystery out of car care and relieve our customers' anxiety. Hi Sarah, welcome to Meineke. Thanks for having me, I'm excited to be here. Uh, this is really interesting to me. I feel like for a lot of women, what goes on in these bays is kind of a big mystery, and I just think I'd be more confident in how my car performs if I had a basic understanding of how it should be maintained. Sure, there's a lot of confusion. We'll do a multi-point inspection along with your oil change. We'll actually take a look at all the important aspects of your car. So it's kind of like when you go to the doctor for your regular checkup to stay healthy, we'll take a look at your car and see what you need. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Well, we think it's important that you come on back and actually take a look at what we're doing, so why don't we head on back? Oh yeah, that'd be great. Thank you. First up, oil change. Okay, Sarah, here comes your car in the bay. We're gonna get it up on the rack, and the first thing that we're gonna do is the oil change. Okay. You know, I knew oil changes were important, but I never knew why. Well, oil is actually the lifeblood of the engine, so it's very important to change it on a regular basis. Okay, and how does an oil change actually happen? Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna check the oil level and condition, and then we're gonna raise the car up and drain the oil, and then when we let it back down, we'll put the fresh oil in. Sounds pretty simple. Now that we've drained the oil, you saw how dirty it was. Yeah, it was gross. So we're gonna change the oil filter. So when I bring my car into Meineke, will you change the oil filter every time? Is that just part of it, or do I have to ask for it? You don't have to ask for it, it's part of the service. We change it every time. So now we have the oil change completed. We got all the old oil out of the engine, the fresh oil in, you're good to go there. So next we're gonna look at something that's very important that concerns your safety, and that's the brakes. Okay, so when you look at brakes, what are you looking at? Yeah, we're going to remove the wheels and we're going to look at the brake pads, the rotors, we're going to measure everything. Just make sure you're up to par. Can you show me? Sure. All right, Sarah, so basically looking at your pads and rotors, you're in good shape. I think you're going to be okay until your next visit and we'll inspect them again for you. How can you tell? Well, by measuring the rotors, which we've already done, and inspecting the pads, they look like they still have some time left on them. So now we're going to check your tread depth and your tire pressure and adjust it. All right, so how do you check the tread? So right now he's checking the depth of your tread. A uh, new tire starts out at about 10 or 11, 30 seconds of tread, and 2.30 seconds is time to replace. Okay. Yours have about 5.30 seconds. You're about halfway there. Oh, all right. That's good. My dad had always said you could just stick a penny in or something about the meeting the president's head. I don't know. You could do that. It's just not quite as accurate as a tread depth indicator. Well, that makes sense. <laughs> okay. So now we're going to check and adjust your tire pressure. And a lot of times, if you want to adjust it yourself, you can get that measurement off of the inside of your driver's door. Oh, I didn't realize it was specific for each car. Yes, don't go by the outside of the tire. That's not accurate. That's a maximum inflation, not what's proper for your car. Wow, I didn't know that at all. Since we're talking about tires, we're going to go ahead and do a tire rotation and adjust those pressures like we talked about. <gasps> On this one, we're going to just rotate them front to rear, the normal, most basic pattern. Uh, but it's going to keep your tires wearing evenly. A lot more to tires than I thought. We're also going to check your wheel alignment, and that way we're going to make sure that you get the most life out of your tires. And by properly maintaining your tires, it's going to keep them lasting longer, and you're going to save money in the long run. Oh, I like that. 
Okay, Sarah, so now we got your car back down. We're gonna check and adjust all of your fluids. I've never really understood what they are or what they do. Would you mind running through that? Sure, let's go through them one at a time. Okay. So first we're gonna top off the windshield washer fluid. Then we're gonna check your brake fluid, all right, and make sure it's full and make sure it's clean. We're gonna check your power steering fluid and we're gonna make sure that that's the proper level and a good condition, that it's not dirty. Okay. And we're gonna check your automatic transmission fluid and make sure that it's clean and make sure that it's full. And also, we're gonna check your coolant. You guys check all of that here? We're gonna check it all. Awesome. <laughs> okay, Sarah, so we're almost finished. We have two filters we're gonna check now, the air filter and the cabin air filter. So the air filter does what exactly? Well, the air filter is gonna filter all of the air coming in the engine, uh -huh. making sure that it's clean. Okay, right, then the cabin air filter would filter the air coming into the cabin. You're getting good at this. So Sarah, it looks like you do need your air filter replaced. Let's go ahead and take care of that for you. Oh, great. Well, Sarah, it looks like you're good to go. Thanks for coming in today. Absolutely. You know, I'm really starting to see the whole picture here, I think, how all of the basic parts work together as a whole and why it's important to keep them all maintained so that they can keep working together as a team. That's a good way to look at it. Thank you so much for your help, Ryan. Thank you. So what'd you think? Really incredible. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of confusion around car care, so it's really helpful when we walk through the multi-point inspection process to identify things that are good with your car, identify things we want to watch, and things we need to address today. So it's a lot of stuff and it can be really confusing. Yeah, you guys really did cover all the bases and then some, and I, I found it really interesting. I feel empowered just by having this basic common sense knowledge about my car. Do you guys have a website? We do. If you go to MontyKey.com, you can find out more information about car care in general, information about your car specifically, and you can also schedule appointments online. That's great to know. Thank you so much for your help. Thanks so much for coming in, Sarah. See you we at really my appreciate next it. Visit. Sounds good. <laughs> to learn more, simply visit MontyKey.com. For more information about anything you've seen on today's show, or to find out how to be a part of the show, log on to designingspaces.tv. You can visit these websites to learn more about the participants on this edition of Designing Spaces.